Hey. Hey travelers, it's LSD 789 with another build video. I want to show you my unkillable tank support healer build for Apocalypse difficulty. And let's go right into it. So for this build I'm using the Whispering Marble Amulet, which grants you 3 stacks of bulwark and it's increasing all damage uh, by 2% per stack of bulwark. So yeah, this amulet will give you defense and damage. Uh, it's really nice. Then also I use the Dried Clay Ring, which also grants you one stack of Bulwark and also increases all damage by 50% of the total damage reduction granted by Bulwark stacks. So these two are perfect together because they both give you damage and defense. And with these two we have four stacks of Bulwark, which grants us 22 damage reduction. It's really nice. And also I use the Seal of the Empress Ring, which increases max health by 20 and reduces max stamina by 5. But yeah, we, we mainly need maximum health on this build. And I'll go over that why uh, in a little, little bit. And also use the Dead King's Memento, again for the maximum health. And I have the Burden of the Divine. Uh, all damage dealt is reduced by 15. Self-healing applies 30% of the benefit to allies. So once we heal ourselves, 30% of that heal goes to all allies, and that includes your summons, other players, anything. Anything will get that 30% of your healing. And we're gonna heal a lot with this build. But if you don't have any, uh, if you don't have any players that play with you, you can also change this ring for the Ring of the Robust, which also gives you maximum health and a bit of armor. But if you are with a team, definitely put on this ring. This one is amazing. Then for the armor, it's a Little Mark II armor set. Mainly because it gives you one of the most uh, armor rating in the game. Then the star of the show, the Resonating Heart. You get this heart from the Corrupted uh, Earth, or the Root Earth. It's all the way in the beginning. And on use, regenerate 57% of max health over 5 seconds. When the heal ends, any overhealed uh, health to self is doubled and awarded over 20 seconds. So you pop this Resonating Heart and you get a little bit of healing for 5 seconds. But if you are already at maximum health, it will be doubled the healing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And if you have this burden of the divine, uh, you're going to heal like crazy. And you're going to heal the team like crazy by just popping this uh, resonating heart. You do need to pop it every uh, 20 seconds. But don't worry about the charges because you get your relics back uh, really easily. I also put on a health mod for the maximum health, some damage reduction and healing effectiveness. So yeah, this is mainly a healer build, it's really nice. Then also I use the Chicago Typewriter. You can use any gun you like, but I like uh, this one a lot. This one has corrosive rounds uh, for the corroded. And I use the Spirit Healer, Yeah, but you can use anything you like. Also using the World's Edge with the Tainted Blade for the corroded. And I'm using the MP60 handgun with the Song of Aether to slow enemies down. And with the Twisting Wounds. But yeah, you can use any of the guns. It's mainly about the accessories and the resonating heart. Okay, let's go over the archetype. For the prime, we need to use the medic. Because the medic has a uh, prime perk, the regenerator. After restoring 250 total health to allies, regain a spent relic charge. Uh, resting or respawning at a world stone resets the healing accumulation. Each additional player uh, increases the healing requirement by 50. But yeah, if you heal your a doggy or your summon or an ally, you will get your relics back. So yeah, you need to pop your relics every 20 seconds, but you get them back really quickly. And this also uh, works for you. So if you heal yourself, it will also count uh, towards a new relic charge. Um, if you play solo, definitely put on the healing shield, because you get uh, a shield and that heals you. But if you are uh, with a team, you really don't need this, and you just put on the redemption. So if one or two players go down, just pop this, and both players are back up on their feet. But yeah, this is for solo, and this is for uh, multiplayer. Then the damage perk is really nice, you get just straight up uh, damage, uh, all damage. And you get a bit of crit chance. Uh, the team perk is really nice. You get uh, increased relic uh, efficiency by 15. And heal nearby allies by 30 of the total healing value. Uh, yeah, this one's really good. Yeah, all the 
all the perks from the medic are good. Uh, also this one, the increases the hits medic can take before losing grey health. So normally when you take one hit, you will immediately uh, lose grey health. But now it takes two hits before you uh, lose the grey health. And the relic is also really good, the relic perk. Increase relic use speed by 20%. And uh, relic use gains one stagger, and that stagger means uh, once you use your relic, you can get a hit, and you still uh, use the you still use the relic, so you don't uh, get knocked out of using the relic. So yeah, all the perks are really good. Also, the traits really good. I use the uh, the triage trait for the healing effectiveness by 50%. It's really good. Then for the secondary, I use the handler. You can also use the summoner. I like the doggy better. Um, if you again, if you're solo, you can use the support dog. But if you uh, are in a team, the attack dog is better, so you can give the whole team some damage. Because if you uh, hold the button, uh, it will do a howl, and it will increase all damage by 20 for all nearby allies. So yeah, that's just good for supporting the team. The damage perks also really good. You get the range damage, melee damage, and skill damage, and crit chance for those. Um, for those damages. The team perks really nice. You get some movement speed and uh, stamina reductions. Um, revive speed for the utility perk. And uh, once you use a relic, your doggy is fully healed if he's alive. And he gains damage and damage reduction. And then the kinship uh, traits also pretty good for uh, Friendly fire reduction by 80. So yeah, you're really tanking. E even if a player uses the firestorm ability, you can just stand inside of it and yeah, you have damage reduction like crazy. So yeah, let's go over the traits now. I'm using the fortified trait for the 50% armor effectiveness. You get this from the engineer. The kinship for, for the 80% damage reduction from friendly fire. Have regrowth for the 1.5 health regen. Strong back for the weight uh, reduction. Triage for the healing uh, mod modification. Vigor for the maximum health. Uh, expertise now. Uh, bark skin for the damage reduction. And then also have blood bond for the damage absorption. And this means um, if you take damage, 10% of the damage goes to your dog instead of you or any summon you have. So yeah, your dog will take some of the damage you take. Then also have the new leech trait, you get this from uh, Naruts. This one uh, will boost your uh, lifesteal efficiency. Also have uh, 7 points in a new resolute uh, trait. Uh, this one you get by uh, doing the new DLC. And once you turn into stone and you kill that stone statue 15 times, that's how to get this trait. And I'm using the new siphoner, uh, the old siphoner trait, which gives you base lifesteal. It's really good. So yeah, I will show you a little bit how it works. You just want to pop this relic uh, as quickly as possible. And that's basically how the whole build works. So yeah, you just pop the dragon heart. If you look on the bottom uh, middle of the screen, uh, after 5 seconds, you will see for 20 seconds we have boosted health. And that health is boosted because um, yeah, any over... Uh, any overhealed health uh, will be doubled. So 57 yeah, times 2 is you get like 100% healing. Uh, but yeah, you need to pop the dragon out constantly. And the more maximum health you have, the more you heal. You can also use the shield, but yeah, you don't really need this. And also the doggy you can use. Yeah. I was showing some gameplay for uh, playing some world bosses. Yeah, hope you guys like the build. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. But yeah, LSD 789. Out. Hi.
Good job. 